Allowing Sunday growler sales for Minnesota craft breweries was established about a year ago. The law signed by Governor Mark Dayton gives cities the authority to allow or not allow local tap rooms and breweries to sell growlers on Sundays. Since then, most cities across the state have allowed the sale, but one local city government is not on board. Our Chelsea Brown explains. I always tell people I feel like I'm in the movie Footloose. <laughs> you know, I, I can dance, but I can't sell beer on Sundays. <laughs> in the Brainerd Lakes area, the city of Brainerd approved Roundhouse Brewery for the sale of growlers on Sunday, and the city of Baxter previously did the same for Jack Pine. Yep, a quick email, paperwork issue. I think it was within three weeks we got it approved. Since the statewide passing, the city of Nisswa is the only city to reject Sunday growler sales across the state. Being that Jack Pine and Roundhouse are now able to, it's not only just frustrating for us as a small business, but it's hard because you have local competition that's so close where if people really want to get a growler, they're going to go somewhere else. Since there's so much traction in the state and I had not heard of one um, city that had rejected it, I thought, well, good, our council is going to be very pro. They're very, I think they're pro Nisswa, and we think it's a pro Nisswa thing. The last time the Nisswa City Council voted on the issue, the council voted 5-0 to zero to not allow Sunday growler sales. But for those breweries who have allowed it across the state, they say it gives them more of a window for those weekend sales. With so many holiday weekends, you know, in the area, I mean, you know, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and even Thanksgiving to some extent are major weekends for us. So the ability to be open on a Sunday during a major weekend is, is a huge impact. Gold Dam and Big Axe asked the city to reconsider the sale just for the summer and hopes to allow more income to help their businesses during the winter months. You go to any other small business in the area right now, it's a privilege to be open here even in the winter time and we pull that off because we distribute as well and get the name out there. Not only that was cool is even on our tap handles you'll see it says Nisswa, Minnesota. So when people down in the cities or if we get out of state, you know, that's representing the city as well. They say summertime is their busiest in such a touristy town and that the weekends are their busiest time of the week. Allowing Sunday growler sales would help them stay open throughout the year. We have a few we sell, you know, on um, during the weekdays and then on the weekends we definitely sell the bulk. I'd say it's, you know, 80% of our sales of growlers would come on the weekends. And I think if we did Sunday we would add, you know, a, a nice chunk to that. The city, however, did not reconsider the motion. Since then, Big Axe and Gold Dam have teamed up with pages of a signed petition of supporters they hope will change the minds of city council members. I think that we can convince them that it is a, a benefit to the community, especially um, you know a tourist community like ours when we see a ton of people traveling through, especially on Sundays. We're in a heavy tourist area, so we've got a lot of people in this area on the weekend, and just to you know have have a small advantage to try to take advantage of that would be great. So we're just trying to do the best that we possibly can to get this approved, but not only that, get it approved while we have a small window of opportunity while the tourists are here. In the Brainerd Lakes area, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Nisswa City Council members chose not to comment at this time. With the petition organized by Goldam and Big Axe, they're aiming to bring this to the next city council meeting scheduled for July 20th. If they do earn a spot on the agenda, they hope to convince council members with the community's support to allow Sunday growler sales. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.